Okay, so um, I've um, kind of um, added all the textures where it should be. As you can see, they've been, they've been all added. But I still went back to Substance Painter and made a little change. So as you can see now on the surface, you can see some kind of height information, kind of normal, kind of um, bump information on this. So I went back to Substance Painter. As you can see it's here now it's more intense here but in um when we say two bag is not so intense but that's fine so i went back to my layers and then for the base color i went back to white and i took the base color up a bit more so you, you can see go back here and just change this and then just re-export and then continue working with um um when we say two bag and see how that looks on on the bag so just to show you guys so you guys don't get confused as to mine looking different from yours okay that's fine so i'm going to close this so i, I also did, did the same for the other one one and on the um the other bag that looks um um old and rugged and um all used up i did the same thing also so i increased the base the base and uh, my base color for the height, I increased the height up to like around 40 percent or so, and I also increased um, some other parts of it. So, I'm going to show you guys in a few minutes, but for now, let me cancel this okay and continue working with this. So, that's all I did for this um, uh, new leather bag. That's all I did. So, since I have this on there now and I've already applied my maps in the other areas of the bag that's fine kind of zoom out let me go to render let me see if local reflection if it's turned off so i'm going to be turning that on when i'm going to do the last thing which is going to be to render this out but for now i'm going to, I'm going to leave this as it is okay that's fine so i'm going to um, collapse this and then the next thing i want to do is to um let me hide this light, hide my sky. So now I'm start creating the fourth light in my scene. I'm start creating the fourth light. So I'm going to go to this light up here, new light. So that has been added on here. So kind of move around. So I, so I don't want it to be a spotlight. So I'm going to change this from spot to omni light. I think Omni light should be fine for this. Oh, one more thing, let me go back and turn this IDs and go back to sky. So if you feel this is just too reddish, you can always um, go back in there. The texture, then for the obido, for the tints, you can always change this if you want to. You can always change this. But I'm going to leave this as it is for now. So I can always change this, the saturation of, from in Photoshop when, when I do my final exports as um, an image file. So I'm going to leave this as it is. Then hide the skylight, turn on my Omni light. So it's here. I'm going to drag this up. Drag this up like so. Drag this up. Kind of see where this is positioned and kind of push this back around here and pull this up so i want to have some kind of backlight to this so i'm going to define the silhouette of this bag with my lighting rotate this like so the, the, the rotation won't do much but i just want to kind of get catch the undo then pull this like so okay kind of properly position this then increase the brightness for this okay that's fine so i want to kind of cut some highlights on the back end of the bag which is which, which, which is very very cool now so i like this way maybe i just pull this up a bit push this this way 
Maybe I just drag it backwards. Put it backwards like so. Kind of see the bag on this angle. Maybe I should pull it front a bit more. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, around there should be fine. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to duplicate this light. Control D to duplicate this light. Then I'm going to push this out. Like so, take down the brightness around here. Around five should be fine. So I want this to kind of be like a kind of feel light. So this is the, so this should kind of be in front of the bag. Control the bag. So then I'm going to push this here, like so. So it kind of illuminates the front of the bag. I'm gonna push this upwards, maybe down like so. This way, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Maybe I'll take down the brightness just a tiny bit, like, okay, like so, it's fine. Then I'm gonna duplicate these lights. But then if, let me tint these lights first a bit. Let me tint these lights. Okay. Let me tint this light some kind of yellowish tone. That's way too much. Maybe somewhere around here should be fine. Not completely white, somewhere around here. Okay. Then duplicate this light. Drag this down here. Pull this out around here. Then I definitely want to change these lights. Let me give it a more orangey stone. Pull this out here. Get a more orangey orange stone to this. Maybe that's just way too much. Somewhere around here should be fine. Click OK. Duplicate this light. Control D. Maybe I'll push this around here. Maybe far around somewhere like so. Then change this to kind of bluish tint. Uh, let's see. Yeah, somewhere around there should be fine. So click OK. Then um, I want to turn off the shadows for some of this. Scroll down to shadow. I don't want them to cast. I don't want this to cast shadow. I don't want this also to cast any any shadow. So I want the shadow. To, I want the shadow to be coming from the one in front and the one at the back. Let me kind of zoom into this bag. Kind of see what's going on. Maybe some of this is just too intense. Like this yellow one down here is just too intense, so I'll click in there and kind of take down the brightness of this. Okay, somewhere around here should be fine. And maybe I'll just duplicate one, that, this one at the edge. Maybe I'll just create, uh, make a duplicate of this, Control D. Zoom out. Kind of pull this around here, it's kind of light up this edge. Let's see. Then change the color to the, for this, let me just give it a neutral color. More neutral tone to this. Kind of increase the brightness of this. Okay. Now that's fine. So now I can see the beauty of the bag way more better. Okay, that's cool. Now that's really cool. That's really nice. Okay. So I can just decide to just leave this like this as my final render. So I'm going to be taking some renders from this. This is very, very nice. And then I'm going to save this file. Let me save this file. 
So I like this. This is cool. So maybe we can do something else to this. Let's see. Uh, let me turn on my. Let me kind of turn on my. Um, okay, we, okay, first of all, let me kind of go to my um, render. Then enable. Let's see if everything is okay. Everything is cool. Settings are fine. So let me t use the watermark. Use watermark. Then change up the size. Okay, that size is, is okay. Let's see dark. No. Two two tone. Uh, I think this this is better. So let me kind of zoom back out just a bit like so. Okay. Okay, this is cool. So maybe I kind of add some more uh, light source to this. But, but for now, before I do that, let me kind of take a render of this. So let me save this. Let me save this. And then let's see if I turn on local reflection. Let's see what that gives us. Okay. So it doesn't do so much, but it's there. But let me kind of um, turn on my skylight. Let me see what that gives us. Whew. That's just way too much. Though I like the reflection of my sky to kind of be on some part of the bag. But let me kind of choose another sky. So I'm going to click on this and duplicate this. Ctrl D to duplicate this sky. And then go into that sky go into the sky click on this preset and kind of choose choose something that will work this is a kind of night scene there are some kind of some more color variations of um of an outdoor scene uh grace cathedral I think a night scene should be fine. Okay, let me choose this Tokyo, Tokyo Takiyashita. <laughs> if I go that, if I spelled, if I pronounce that correctly, <laughs> let me just click on that. Done. Okay, that's cool. So um, maybe I'll just kind of add, choose a pick a color from this and use that as a light source. Maybe I pick a color from. Somewhere around here, maybe somewhere around here should be fine. So let me kind of hide this to see what that gives us. Let me add that like this is my normal bag. Then this is the bag with the um, environments on, which is cool. It's not bad at all. This is cool. I can think I can deal with this. So I'm going to take a, a render of this. So let me go to. Um, my capture under capture i'll go to settings for this in the settings i'm going to um okay png is fine turn on transparency uh it may not be completely necessary but let me turn that on and let me change the resolution to uh i think 3k should be fine Mass viewports okay 3k should be fine that's cool then click click okay and then go to go back to capture then i can click on this show output folder so this is what i'm going to say i'm going to be saving my my renders my render too so let me kind of choose a file to save this to tutorial uh project file renders let me save this here okay it's gonna be my output so let me copy this part Material capture settings. Ah, it's not giving us the output here. Let me see. Let me see if the output has been changed. 
show outputs. Ah, uh, the output is still on my desktop. And no worries, let, let me just take a, 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 a render of this. So I'm going to click on. Oh, sorry, before you click on a render on this, let me show you how to still edit some more as a kind of uh, do some post post work, post effects, post and um, processing on this. But let me take it in a, let me take a, what's the name? Well, let me take a screenshot first. So let me click on image and open. It takes a little while to kind of take a screenshot. So as you can see, it has taken a screenshot for me. PNG and um, without any background. But I, I want that with, with the background. Or I can just drag this to Photoshop and then just um, put that in the background if I want to. So if you want that with the background, so you can go back in here then this time around take a capture take a capture and then for the um, settings just turn off transparency if you want that to come with this background at the back just turn on transparency that's fine so i'm going to leave this as it is then sample is that sampling sampling is at 16 that's fine you can crank this up if you want to but i think 16 is fine I'm going to leave that at 16. Then I'm going to click cancel. So, but then if you want to do something more interesting on this, I can go to my, um, should be on the camera. So, post effects, post effects. So, I can do some more um, work on this and make it look more interesting. So, I can start to sharpen this more. Let me kind of sharpen the render. Let me drag this like so. It's kind of sharpen this. Maybe that's just too much. So somewhere around here should be fine. Okay. Then for the bloom, I can increase the bloom. Bloom. You kind of see what that gives us. So increase it in the bloom. As you can see. You can see the bloom around here. But let me take down the size. Take down the size. Okay. Okay, let me increase the size. Let me see what that gives us. Okay, the size kind kind of kind of blow out the it blows out the uh, bloom. So let's brighten this up a bit. That's just way too much. Let me kind of take this down. Somewhere around here should be fine. So take this down a bit more. Just a little busty there. Okay. That's fine. And I can also take a screenshot of this. Go to uh, capture. This time around, I'm going to go to settings and then I'm going to turn on tran turn off transparency, transparency, then click OK, then go back to capture, then click on uh, image and open, and just give, give it a, a moment to just kind of uh, take a screenshot for us of this. So as you can see, that that done that for us, which is looking very very cool, not bad at all. So. Now that we have this, let's go and take some more shots in some other areas of the bag. Maybe I go close to this, um, the logo. Go close to the logo. Kind of get a pretty cool view from around here. Maybe kind of shift this like so. Aha. I think this is a very nice view. This is a very, very nice view. As you can see, the bump detail affecting the bag really nicely here. Yeah? Kind of take this, kind of pull this up. Maybe. Uh, something like this is fine. Kind of getting a very good angle on this. Okay, that's cool. 
so it's looking all nice this is very 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 nice with the bloom it's just looking really really nice so from here i can take another screenshot go to capture this time around i'm going to go to setting uh yeah i think this is fine click ok then i'm still going to i'm still going to be doing a turntable of this also so let me go to capture then choose image and open again then give it a moment to kind of take a screenshot of that for us so that's done that for us which is cool that's nice so that's all we're going to be doing so um I'm gonna stop this video here and then I'm gonna um, apply my uh, order one and old texture on this but still maintain the same light information the same light um, lighting this is my light this is my light scene so then I'll see you guys in the next lesson and, and I'm, I'm also going to take some other renders of of this or some other portions of the bag and the wireframe also and show you guys later on so thank you guys th thank you thank you thank you very much for um, watching this and then i'll see you in the next part where we're going to add the other we kind of add the other rugged and old and wear and see on this leather bag so see you guys in the next lesson